We all have that one family member on Facebook who posts the most out-of-pocket memes. They post memes like, ahaha, minions, funny, you know? That was my minion impression. You know how much <laughs> middle-aged white women love those. So if I have any of you watching, I hope you really like that. Sometimes though, the memes aren't just cringe or unfunny. They're simply awful. Straight up, the craziest thing you've ever seen someone laugh at. And they post it too. They have the gall to take that meme and post it on Facebook. Why? Because old people have no shame. So today, I'm shaming old people. We're looking at old people being weird on Facebook, AKA r slash terrible Facebook memes. A community for all those terrible memes your uncle posts on Facebook. Now, I'm personally not on Facebook. I'd like to keep whatever sanity is up here. Uh, I'd like to keep it still up there, you know? TikTok and Twitter, that's enough for me. Facebook can stay in the trash. But these lovely people did the wonderful job of finding memes that their uh, terrible conservative family members have posted. Quote on quote, alpha male take on girlfriend ownership. Men, a woman looks for a father in a man. Can anyone say, yeah. Yeah. you are her father. She calls you daddy. She is your daughter. No, she's not. I hope not. You call her baby. Don't allow her to call you baby. You are the father. Big daddy, if you will. <laughs> You're not a little baby. You're not a little baby boy. You're better than that. I ain't no baby boy. A man leaves his father to become a father, but a woman never leaves a father. Uh, she switches from her biological father to an intimate father. You know, <laughs> two words I never, I don't usually put together as father being intimate with me. I know intimate has other meanings, of course, but we know what the meaning means in this situation. And usually, I, I usually don't put those words together. I don't really think about uh, a father as um, someone I, I would be intimate with. That's why during a wedding, she is clutching. <laughs> What a, that's a weird word to use. To her biological father down the aisle. To be received by her husband, intimate father. If you grew up fatherless, you must first become a man, then learn what it means to be a father, and then start considering how to father a woman. Um, if you are not ready to be her intimate father, don't bother. Your relationship will be chaotic. Be a father. Hashtag masculinity Saturday. I don't even want to know what that is. <laughs> Sounds like a f***ing nightmare. Guys better log off every Saturday from now on. Masculinity Saturday. Um, something like war something. Most people don't want to have sex with their daughter. Um, and if you are one of those people. Police! Police! Help! What did my boomer parents mean by this? Oh, great. Here we go. <laughs> Uncle Ben's. X! <laughs> Quaker Oats. Keep. Aunt Jemima. X! <laughs> Cancelled. <laughs> Little Debbie. Keep. Land of the Lakes. Cancelled. Sun made. Keep. But Aunt Jemima was literally like a racist caricature of a black woman when they first created the brand. And it just kind of devolved into a less racist caricature. But it's still racist because it's still feeding into this um, caricature of black women, right? That's why they want didn't want Aunt Jemima on the bottle anymore. Maybe we should cancel Quaker Oats. Look at that old white founding father looking mother. Get him off the package. I know he had slaves. Look at that smiley face. Sick freak. What the f*** is wrong with little Debbie, though? She's just a, like a little redhead girl. You know, what's what's wrong with that? I don't... Is that like a bad stereotype for little redhead girls? Oh, here we go. Not the redhead oppression again. Jesus. Sorry to all, all the redheads out there. Uh, I do indeed hate you. <laughs> Sun made keep... What? I don't... This is just a... Someone who works at a raisin farm. I don't understand. This is just a woman who works at a raisin farm. Ah, uh, but she has that, that hood on her head, giving very, um, Handmaid's Tale. I guess we should cancel the Sunmaid as well. Are they trying to make a point that, like, we keep the caricatures of white people? I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand the hate that Aloy gets. Okay. <laughs> Using the unpleasant appearance of Aloy, I can make all female protagonists ugly than me. What is... <laughs> Doofenshmirtz? I recognize that finger anywhere. They, they all use this, like, one picture of her where she's making, like, a weird face. Like, yeah, sometimes people don't look good all the time. <laughs> what the fuck do you want? I'm sure you don't look good all the time. In fact, I'm sure you 
man watching this probably look bad 99% of the time. At least she could keep a proper hygiene even in a post-post-apocalyptic society. What's your excuse? She looks like a normal woman. I don't... It's just brain rot. Brain rot from like porn. Brain rot, they don't know what a normal woman looks like. Yes, a normal woman looks normal. I love Aloy so much. It's like one of my favorite video games of all time, so. Men with beards 50 years ago. I'm going into the woods to chop down some trees. Men with beards today. I'm going to the shops. There's a gluten-free new face mask that's gluten-free. I said that so wrong. Whatever. And they post three of the most chad-looking motherfuckers I have ever seen in my life. This guy is just hating. I know that the guy who posted this can't grow stubble to save his life. He's jealous that these guys are alpha chads. Giga chads, if you will. Why does it say at the bottom, just one goat? <laughs> well, brother, what does that mean? <laughs> just one goat, you know what I'm saying? Clearly they use face masks. They have beautiful, beautiful skin. Maybe you should try it one of these days. Before they collected all these wedding rings, they collected all the guns. This is disgusting. This looks like a like a torture machine from Saw. All those rings, I could smell the metal. I bet this bucket smells like blood. I don't understand what this means, right? I mean, none of these make any sense. So people are getting divorced over and over and over again instead of collecting guns. I, there's so many people who have guns who are like conservatives, who own a lot of guns, who definitely have gotten divorced multiple times. Always hating on young people. You're just jealous because you're not young. <laughs> you're gonna die very soon. So, oh, okay. So this person posted prayer hands. I already know it's I'm in for a little treat. Pray. To my big brother up in the sky, you know what I'm saying? A little girl wanted to know what the United States looked like. Her dad. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most circuitous thing her dad could have possibly done instead of just showing her map. So, <laughs> her dad tore a map of the USA from a magazine and then cut it in small pieces. Very, you know, that's, that's the way you teach your children. He told her to go into her room and see if she can put it together, uh, which she can't because she has no prior knowledge of what the US looks like. <laughs> After some minutes, she returned and handed the map correctly fitted and taped together. Dad was surprised and asked how she had finished so quickly. Uh, she said on the other side was a picture of Jesus. And when I put him back, then our country just came together, dot, dot. Actually, Jesus is the reason this country's falling apart. You know, I, I don't want to be too mean to my brother. My brother Jesus. Love that man. But like, <laughs> religion, I would argue, is probably the biggest problem with the U.S. right now. One of the biggest problems with this country right now. I also love just like paragraphs like this where it's like, you know, this didn't happen. Right, first of all. Second of all, it's like inspirational, you know? Oh my God, this crazy thing happened. How did it happen? Oh, it's God. Ooh, spread my arms in sweet supplication to him. He cut up a picture of Jesus. That's, that's a context you need to take out of this. Is he cut up a picture of Jesus Christ? I memorized the maps of South America, North America, Europe, Asia. The only continent left is Africa. I think it's about time I learn Africa. I've ne Gosh, I've never even seen a map of Africa. Oh, it's time. Hey, Dad. Yes, honey? Do you have a spare map of Africa from the World Atlas I can use? I'd love to memorize it. I feel like that's my duty as a white person. Yes, I think I do. Give me one moment. Ah, uh, uh, yes. Ugh. Here it is. My map of Africa is from the World Atlas, 1999 edition. Oh, great. Can I have it? Well, I could just give it to you as it is, but, uh... I know how I can make this a little more challenging for you. If I just do that. There you go. This map of Africa for you. What the fuck? Now I'm gonna lock your door, and uh, when you're done, give me a holler, and then I'll give you dinner, okay? <laughs> All right, sweetie. What? No! I think you got it. Yeah, just let me know when you're done. You can't trap me in here. You gotta let me out, man. Hey! How am I supposed to... Gosh. 
Wait a minute. Yes. I think I see it. This goes right. here. This yeah. here. This here. And this here. Oh my. He has risen. Several things to try to figure out here. I, love, I really love this picture. <laughs> Tesla owner. <laughs> it's, it's, <laughs> four gay men. Men in, in stilettos. If this is what a Tesla owner looks like, give me a Tesla. I want to look like one of these guys. This is awesome. Also, they all have wonderful, beautiful legs. <laughs> what can I say? Again, you're jealous because your calves are like noodle. You got noodle calves. When, when was this picture taken, by the way? 1999? The dude on the left has like a, one of those big cell phone things. Patriot tan line. And it is a tan line of a, a pistol. Liberal tan line. What is this? I don't know. And it's a tan line of a mask. So many questions. First of all, who who is going to the beach? Like in arguably one of your most vulnerable states, you have literally just basically a bra and underwear on. In your most vulnerable state, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna need to bring a gun too. Cause I, I definitely am going to get, I'm gonna have to defend myself at the beach. <laughs> what what are you doing at the beach where you need to shoot someone? Oh, just that, well, that one occasion, that one in 100 million chance, maybe I go to the beach and like, oh my God, I'm gonna get in the water and a shark's gonna attack me. I'm gonna have to shoot that motherfucker. Actually, I can excuse the girl on the right more. Maybe she was, had to wear a mask and she had to go outside and it was, there was like a mask that she was made to wear or whatever. Preserve liberty apparel. Liberty is mask or gun. That's liberty. It's one or the other. Either you're a patriot or you're a liberal. Uh, and let me tell you, I'm a patriot. For all those people who wore a mask while driving alone, the new outdoor seatbelt is not... <laughs> Listen, I'm laughing. Unironically, I, th I mean, I yes, people forget. I understand. People forget. Oh my god, when COVID was happening, when it was happening, when it was at the height of its career. And my, my mom, every single time she saw someone in a car wearing a mask, she would comment on it. Oh my God, why are they wearing a mask in the car? <laughs> There's no one in the car with you. Every single time, I swear to God, if I had a nickel for every single time she did that, I would be filthy rich. Catch me Mick Scrooge diving into some coins, man. <laughs> I, where do I buy this outdoor seatbelt? I need it. I'm always afraid I'm gonna, what, if someone hits me, what's gonna stop me from flying, you know? Someone hits me with their car while I'm crossing the street. What's going to stop me from flying? The seatbelt, the outdoor seatbelt. That's why I, I sign me up. <gasps> oh no! What? There's no need to worry, civilian. For I have the new outdoor seatbelt. Outdoor seatbelt. Thank God. Oh. I thought I just killed someone. I'm glad you're okay. <laughs> With this, nothing can hit me. I'm practically invincible. Always make sure you secure the outdoor seatbelt. Yeah, I'll be sure to pick up the new outdoor seatbelt. Yeah. I'll be sure to do that. Jesus fucking Christ. Outdoor seatbelt cannot be held liable for any deaths caused while wearing the outdoor seatbelt. The outdoor seatbelt brand is not certified by the U.S. Product Safety Commission. Call 999-999-999 to order your outdoor seatbelt today. 999-999-9999 to place your pre-order of the new outdoor seatbelt today. I don't have enough money to pay my student loans or buy a house. You already know it. Starting off with a bang. Because it's a boomer about to make fun of someone who actually cannot afford to buy stuff. Um, so we got this caricature of this dude with a humongous septum piercing. It's like what you put in a cow's nose. What the hell? <laughs> of course, he's got the gauges. All those liberals, they always want to put those big holes in their ears they think they're doing uh, a, a hat with the hammer and sickle on it because everyone just walks parading around the symbol for communism right on their head <laughs> that's what i like to do S uh, drinking a little soylent um 
Soy milk, of course. He's a soy boy. Monthly budget. DoorDash, $1,400. No one is spending $1,400 on DoorDash. Poor people don't do this. Like, people who actually can't afford student loans or buying a house, let me tell you, they're not spending it on, like, nonsensical items. <laughs> booze, $250. Only $250 on booze. See, that's... What? Weed, only $200 a month? Bruh. Have you ever, have you ever purchased marijuana? And I'm not saying I have, I, I absolutely have not. If you're actually smoking every day, you're spending probably $200 a week. So that's hard to believe. Body art, $100. Oh, again. This person lacks comprehension of how much things cost. <laughs> you're not making your point any better. It, this just proves you don't know how much costs. You don't know the average price of weed in America, especially in states where it's illegal. You don't know the price of booze. You don't know the price of body art. Streaming, $100. Now that makes a lot of sense. OnlyFans, $100. You know, liberals, they like paying for porn. Me, I just whip open a nice Playboy. Ooh, Funko Pops? Who, who buys Funko Pops anymore? If you do, you're wasting your money, by the way. It's just cheap plastic. I don't know what to tell you. But <laughs> Apple iStore. What is the... <laughs> It's not even a real thing. The iStore? What is that? $100. <laughs> what What does that mean? Video games, $200. Pop concert, $200. Only, again, you must just be sitting in the nosebleeds constantly. That's why he needs a septa piercing. Stop his nose from bleeding. <laughs> uh, total, $2,750. Again, no one who is actually poor who can't afford stuff is going to spend this much money on stuff. Because I guarantee you, they probably don't even make $2,500 a month. <laughs> so, thought it was a satirical meme, but the comments were serious. When a man cheats, a real woman will go on her knees, kiss his feet, and apologize for not being perfect. No. Uh, a real woman will dump his ass and find someone better. The funniest thing about this picture is the humongous foot next to the little foot. <laughs> that is so funny to me. Oh, uh, God. The Federalist Papers post. Ha! Here she comes, just a walking down the street, singing, Mountain Dew, crying, black man, black man. <laughs> Biden, black man, Mountain Dew. Ta. Sounds like a fire song. Mountain Dew, crying, black man, black man. <laughs> Biden, black man, Mountain Dew. What? What is, seriously, what is this? I don't know what it's supposed to mean. Soda, soda cry, black guy, black guy, Biden, black guy, Mountain Dew. Pop, pop tears, pop tears, black, black, white, black, pop. This is what's gonna make my head explode. I have to, I have to discover the hidden meaning of this. Mountain Dew emoji, black guy, black guy. Biden, black guy, Mountain Dew. Confuse, wait. Soda cry, confuse, confuse. Stupid, confuse, Mountain Dew, I don't. Oh, someone commented the answer. Do wa diddy diddy dum diddy do. What even is that song? Is this like a song from like the 1500s? You guys are that old? Jesus. You could have given me the, the expanse knowledge of the entire universe. Opened my eyes forever and I would still not have ever figured this out. Trump versus Biden. A tale of the tape. They got Photoshop picture of Trump and then there's Photoshop picture of Biden. I would assume both of them would go into instant cardiac arrest if they went to the boxing ring immediately. Both of them would just die. Age 74, 77. Years in politics, 4, 47. Knockouts, 1, 0. See, what, what is that even in relation to? <laughs> um, like their wives? Reach, USA, China. Height, 6360. Weight, 243, 215. Yeah, and I know where Trump carries his weight. <laughs> Supports capitalism, comic. Biden definitely, definitely does not support communism, but okay. Net worth, billions, nothing. I feel like that's wrong. Nickname, the MAGA, the MAGA kid. Has anyone ever called him that? Ever? Sleepy Joe. <laughs> True facts, never told. Best American press. I don't hear that at all, actually. That has never been told. 47 years with zero accomplishment. I think it's a pretty equal fight, actually, so. Without God, one week would be sin day. That's my favorite day of the week for sure. Sin day, <laughs> sign me up. Morn day, tears day. Tears day, it would be tears day. Waste day, thirst day, fight day. 
Shatter Day. <laughs> shatter Day, but it's like like shitting your pants. On Shatter Days, I like to shatter myself, eh? <laughs> and then I go out and sin the next day. And then mourn for my shat. Seven days without God makes one week. Banger, dude. <laughs> Do you know who else was arrested a week before Easter? Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior himself. <laughs> uh, so Trump, Trump is the reincarnation of Jesus himself. Confirmed. You know, I see the similarities between Jesus and Trump, actually. Jesus um, was a very good looking man and so was Donald Trump. So. To top it all off, we have a minion meme. The most iconic image ever. We have a minion laughing. In his underwear. Ha <laughs> Little yellow bean in underwear. That's funny. You know, why do they have to wear underwear, though? They don't have anything down there. God, I hope not. That's not rule 34, this. Help me! Help me! Uh, the fitness trainer asked me, what kind of a squat are you accustomed to doing? And I said, diddly. <laughs> diddly squat. <laughs> Exactly. Diddly squat. That's what I'm doing today. What a f***ed up word. Diddly. Diddlin'. You know what I mean? I'm diddling all the time. Anyway, that's it for me. Just a lighthearted video going through some terrible Facebook memes because Facebook is the bane of my existence. The worst place on the internet. How about we ban that before TikTok? So, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you got a good laugh out of it. Let me know what you thought of any of these memes down below. Comment down below. Anything you want to comment down below for that matter. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. I post comedy and commentary videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. And make sure you turn on the notification bell so you know when I post a video. Again, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.